Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. This is part 12 of my Iron Man inspired real working exosuit. Yes, it's a machine that I'm building to make me really strong. We've already worked on the arm axis in the last few episodes and last time I restructured the legs, which are down here. And we need to revisit those again and basically get the body back on the legs and hopefully I'll be able to walk along properly. I did have a situation where I could walk before, but we found as we built more arm axis on, the legs really weren't up to it with their current structure, although they looked pretty promising. So I made a few tweaks last time, and now we're gonna see where it takes us. So at the end of the last episode, I said I needed to go shopping to get some springs. So basically I found various things. I've got some steel cable, and I found these gate springs, which are really stiff. They're meant to twist or uh, do this sort of thing, but you can stretch them a little bit. I've also got some more bungee cord and the plan was to kind of build a thing so uh, the legs are basically held into position with bungee so I can still push them but I want varying regions of the amount of stretch I can get so the aim was going to have a, a, uh, a gate spring that's really stiff attached to a bungee and then also attached to some cord that doesn't stretch so uh, basically what would happen is you pull it like this at some point you've got the bungee stretching which is easy to stretch but when this pulls tight then you've got just the uh, stretch of this spring, which is really tight. So um, essentially that means I can have varying regions as we stretch through the motion of the legs. However, I really need to do that when the load is on to experiment with those things. So for now, I've just added some extra bungee cord to make this much harder to stretch. That's uh, the knee. And of course, uh, oh, that's uh, pretty hard to stretch and it's pulled the other way by the blocks and tackles. So what I probably have is a knee pad to actually break that knee, which of course has an end stop anyway but it's pretty stiff. And obviously last time I managed to put my whole weight on the top, uh, which means it should hold the weight up when the legs are straight. And the end stop here is this hacky piece of wood I put in, which of course means the leg can't bend any further. So that's a prime candidate for being replaced with a big spring. Right, so the plan is to get the legs back on here and hope it stands up and take it from there. So that's one leg on and um, it seems more than capable of holding the whole weight in fact. So uh, that's pretty hopeful so far. Right, so it seems to be uh, freestanding pretty well. Obviously, it's much heavier on one side, but there's not much we can do about that now. So, uh, in fact, yeah, it doesn't feel too bad. It still seems to center okay on those centering springs that I put in before, which are still there, of course. And, um, of course, it's much easier to uh, shift the mass over this leg and lift the other leg off the ground. Not so easy on that side, but uh, obviously I can probably just about coax it along. So I'm going to get the uh, motors working again and we'll try and see if we can actually lift up and move the leg along there. And I think I'll probably be able to walk. There's a few tweaks to make, but we'll see how it goes. I've just added these knee plates now so I can push with my knees and uh, break the knees of the suit there. And the springs seem to be doing the job pretty well, just those bungees to pull it back. So now even if I push the suit right forward onto its end stops, it's actually pretty easy to uh, push it back again and there's no problems there with it keeling over. So obviously the aim would be that I can uh, kind of bring my leg up here and bring the other one forwards. And then I should be able to do the same on that side. But we need that motorized top as well. Right, we're on control system sort of version one or stage one if you like. So we're using these little joysticks to control the legs again. Eventually I'll put pressure sensors in the knees and it'll be much more natural. Uh, for now I can move the leg backwards and forwards by moving these joysticks although it's harder than it sounds. I've got a potentiometer here in one corner of the mechanism that allows me to read the position and also constrain it so it doesn't keep moving. I'm using an Arduino Nano and that's reading the pot position and the stick position and there's a brushless motor driver there to drive the motor in the gearbox. And obviously this brushless motor, the motor driver and the LiPo are all radio control parts. 
I mentioned last time about having knee switches, which was going to be a swivelling thing on the knee, which uh, meant when the front came forward, the back went back. For now, I've just put this piece of wood on that stops the leg bending the wrong way and make sure when the front of the leg leans forward, the whole suit does it. Um, and also I can still bend the other way so I can break the knee and crouch down or bend the leg up in the air and that works pretty well. I do want to replace this with the proper thing pivoted in the centre that pivots over with uh, basically bearings on each side to run on the uprights. I've also installed knee pushers and I've just changed the position there of the foot hook so it's actually the piece of wood at the back not the thing at the front that I had before so my legs are in a more natural position. It's actually quite hard to walk and move your hands at the same time, or at least your thumbs, so it's a bit of a challenge and I had to practice a few times. Of course what I should do is put pressure sensors in front and behind the knee, so that when I push with my knees it actually naturally moves the legs, and they should also auto sensor, which they don't at the moment, I'm literally controlling the motor speeds backwards and forwards there uh, with end stops, but that's it. So um, in fact they tend to get out of sync and things. So this is the first stage of the control system. We're going to build something better with pressure sensors and a PID controller that means actually it drives to the center when I relax in the middle, which is what it should do. The main reason I restructured the legs, of course, was so they could carry more load because before they were collapsing under the weight of the suit. The suit's pretty heavy so far. It probably weighs as much as a purse and I can't pick it up in one go. And it's pretty effortless to walk in, so of course it's doing its job of making me stronger already, but we do need to put additional load on the arm when we pick things up. So with the legs with this configuration, they're locked, and as well as holding the whole weight of the suit, of course, they will actually hold me up as well if I push up on them. So we're quite happy that um, the suit can actually support quite a lot more load. Obviously, I am quite uh, lopsided. I'm really heavy on one side, so I'm leaning much further one side than I am the other side. It's really easy to pick this leg up, of course, because um, I've got the counterweight here. So with hindsight, I probably should have started with the legs and then built on top of that and then built two sort of lighter arms, um, probably just as strong, but made um, sort of more minimal and equally balanced. Um, but obviously, this is the first sort of prototype of the suit made of cheap materials like wood and so on so you never know what we can do in the future but for now I'm going to continue with this project because it does actually work and I can locomote albeit with a better control system. So now we need to look at that arm control system and kind of do the first stage for that. So we've got an Arduino Mega installed and that's going to be the main control system for at least the upper part of the suit. It will probably have the legs on slave which are currently Arduino Pro Minis. Each joint has a potentiometer attached, which allows me to set limits on it. They're only cheap audio pots, but they'll be fine for testing. We're kind of in the hacky stage at the moment of trying to get the functionality working. There's another one here, and there's another one right on top for that third axis. There's quite a lot of crazy wire running all over the suit to link up those pots and also link up the motor drivers. So I'm using the servo library on the Arduino to command them because they just plug into a radio control receiver as a servo normally. So there's some scrappy wires but it does give us the core functionality. Each motor driver also has its own battery, which are dotted around. So of course, in the same way that I don't really want these joysticks to operate my legs, I want to push them with my actual legs and have the legs move, I don't really want these switches to operate the arm. What I'd really rather have is something where I've actually got my hand attached to it or my arm attached to it, and as I move it around, I can pull it and that operates the motors. So it's actually using the force of my arm and my motions of my body to move the whole suit. In part two, I did some development on this, which is uh, basically um, a rig that allows it to record motion in several axes, up and down, and um, in each linear axis like this. So we've got three axes there. The plan was to have something on the top that turned to give us the fourth axis. And of course, we've got four joints in the arm, including the elbow. So uh, there's four pots on here, and it basically works out the difference between them to work out where you're moving in 3D space. 
So this was going to be sort of a plan for a joystick to control the arm. Uh, however, it's kind of quite slack, of course, and the arm does wobble a bit just due to the me inherent mechanics in the suit. So I think I need something a bit stiffer. And I think that should be something really stiff attached to the inside of the arm here so I can really grab it and pull it around. It does need to have all of those axes in. So I think I'm going to use force sensitive resistors similar to the ones that I used in Ultron's joints. And we use those to give force feedback so when I push a joint the robot knows that it should move in that direction. Uh, but actually in this case we don't really want them in the joints of the suit because that would involve me being able to move the suit or lift a weight with this. Uh, before the force sensitive resistor gets triggered. However, in this case, what we really want is the force sensitive resistors in between me and the arm so that I can pull it and it knows I'm pulling it in that direction and it can move the appropriate motors. So I'm pretty happy the core functionality is there. I can just about hobble along. It'll probably be much easier once I can actually move my legs to move the legs rather than having to coordinate uh, pretty much by trial and error of the motor positions with my legs. So walking should be a lot easier. And moving that arm obviously works, but having something I can push and pull around will actually make it into a proper exosuit, reading my body motions and making the suit move. So I've got some force sensitive resistors on order. We're going to use that for pretty much all of the sensing. And of course the Arduino and the framework for controlling the motors is already there. So it should be a pretty easy job. After that, I want to go on to have some control panels and things. There's probably going to be a head thing that flips down with sort of a heads up display and stuff. And we still need to put something on this side. Balancing the suit up is gonna make it much easier to walk in, but I'd also like to put something like a big gun here and I'm not sure what to do yet, but let me know if you've got any suggestions in the comments below. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications with a little bell icon to see more on this project and other projects. And you should also check out my Patreon campaign, which is how most of my projects are funded. Have a look at patreon.com slash xrobots and you can get access to some exclusive rewards, including sneak peek pictures of upcoming projects, all my videos early and access to a regular live stream. All right, that's all for now.